round of applause as you come to my end of the Please, come on, put your hands together for Jesus tonight. Come on, give it to Jesus. Give it to Jesus. Somebody call him by his name tonight. Call him, call him, call him, call him, call him. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Amen, somebody. God is not dead, but he is alive. Say to me, say my God is not dead, but he is alive. And alive forevermore. Amen, somebody. Give it to Jesus again. Amen. Say to me, say, my God is not dead, but he is alive. Come on, say that and say, my God is not dead, but he is alive. He's alive in my life. He's alive in my heart. He's alive in my home. He's alive. Amen, somebody. The Bible said, they that know their God are going to be strong. Amen. Hallelujah. Tell the name said God wants you to know him. Because God will want you to be strong. Amen, somebody. Come on, somebody. Many of us we backslide and we fail because of Amen somebody. Two reasons. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. We don't know him. Amen, somebody. And because we don't know him, we are not strong. Come on, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. Am I speaking to somebody? Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. They that know their God. Come on, somebody. Amen. And when I know my God, He is able to lead me. He is able to guide me. He is able to direct me. He is able to show me the way out. He is able to deliver me. Yes, yeah. 
on somebody, some of you in trouble and ask again, are you ready for this harvest? Come on somebody. Come on somebody, come on somebody. Amen somebody. You got to make yourself ready. Come on somebody. And all that God is there is an agreement. Come on somebody. There is an agreement. He said if you will draw nigh unto me, I will draw nigh unto you. Come on somebody. Amen somebody. And if I'm not praying, if I'm not in a prayer meeting, I'm not drawing. Come on somebody. And I will pick up this word. I am not drawing. It's a what? It's a, a covenant. It's an agreement. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. God is negotiating with you. Isaiah chapter 1 and verses 18, it said, Come, let us reason together, said the Lord. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. And if we believe that we are righteous, we are lost. The Bible said, For all of our righteousness. To the neighbor, your husband, your wife, all of our righteousness is a filthy rock. The Bible said that Moses, come on somebody, the scribes and the Pharisees, they sit in the seat of Moses, come on somebody, judging God's people, amen somebody, to determine who is worthy, who is righteous, who is holy, and who is deserving, come on somebody. And God is the one that judges the hearts of men and leadeth his servants, come on somebody. And God said, if you are willing, amen somebody, and if you are obedient, you will eat the good of the land. Come on somebody. He said, come let us reason together. What he said, let us reason together. Come on somebody. Shed the Lord. Come on somebody. Though you are sins, be like a scarlet. Come on somebody. Red, it's bloody. Come on somebody. There's too many to come. Come on somebody. Now it
Mesti kita sambal Amen. Amen sambal Amen. The laborers in the vineyard You see, these laborers It's not how you look at them To be Amen somebody in construction Amen somebody the laborers that God is looking for are they that will worship Him in spirit and in truth. Amen. The laborers are they that will bear the fruits of the Spirit. Amen. They that will walk in the Spirit. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. They that will make your life a living sacrifice. Amen. In the book of Revelation, Jesus said, Behold, I Not who men presume us to be, but God the Father, the Son, amen, somebody, the Holy Ghost, amen, somebody. He sees our heart, our mind, he knows the intent, he sees our life set. We're not a Christian because we come to church. We are Christian, come on, somebody, by the life that we live every day. We are followers of Christ, by the life that we live every day. We are followers of Christ, by where our heart is, where our mind is. When his word abide in us. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. When what? Amen. Amen, somebody. Let's turn to John 15. The majority of the parables in the Bible. Amen, somebody. It's about a bride and a groom. It's about a husband man, it's about a vineyard, it's about laborers, it's about those that are faithful, those that are willing, it is about those that are wicked and those that are unjust. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. And, and if we want a harvest that is already prepared for us by God, we got to make ourselves ready for it. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen, Amen. Amen somebody. Amen. And if the Bible is describing me as his, Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. His bride. And I am looking to what's in us a groom. We understand how much work and dedicate and sacrifice. It takes, Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. And how much money must be And we cannot fool the people that is in the world. Amen, Amen somebody. Am I speaking to somebody? Amen. Come on. Amen. We want this harvest. We want this blessing. We want this covered in God. Amen, somebody. We want to be fruitful in 20 and 23. Amen, somebody. We must get ourselves ready. Amen. And if we don't get ourselves ready, we're going to be cast into the fire. Amen. On somebody. Amen. Amen somebody. Amen. We're going to be cast into the fire. I want you to understand that Jesus spoke more times about hell in the New Testament and he spoke about heaven. Amen. He spoke more times about her. The worms that died not. About the flames that out it not. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Amen, somebody. He spoke more times about the prophets and patriarchs that came to warn his people. Warning people to flee from the wrath 
Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Am I speaking to somebody tonight? Amen. Am I speaking to somebody? Amen. He told them, broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. Amen. And he said, many there be that will find that way. Amen. Many of us have excuses. Amen, somebody. Amen. While we are in that way, well, Father, it is the children. Amen. Well, Father, it is the wife. Amen. Well, Father, it is the husband. Well, Father, it is the job. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. And if we search our lives, you will see we can make time for everything that we do in our lives. And we can, we can fit in the bold and the beautiful. We can, we can fit in, come on somebody, the, the dates and the parties. We can fit, fit in the weddings. We can fit in the birthdays. We can, we can fit in every single event in our life. Come on somebody. Come on somebody. But when it comes to the God who have given you life and health and strength and breath to breathe, Somebody, we got tired. Amen. Somebody, we got sleepy. Come on, somebody, we got discouraged. We got a weary. Somebody, tell me off. Come on, somebody. Somebody, tell you off on the job, but you're still going. Come on, somebody, because you want a money and man, more than God. You understand the value. Amen. Somebody. Yeah. 
is to the Heavenly Father who designed all this and take care of all this. Is he not more than able to provide and open doors for you? He said, can your worry change anything? Can your worrying add anything to you? Amen, somebody. That is good. Amen, somebody. Amen. Your worrying can get you toxic. Can get you in a spirit of depression. Can cause fear to rule you. Can cause bitterness to rule you. Can cause jealousy to rule you. The difference, the difference between, one of the main difference between Amen, somebody. The people of God and the people of the world, the people of the world, their ambition is for themselves. Amen. All that you work for and labor for in your world is for yourself. Houses for yourself, car, money, riches, bank account is for yourself. When you come to Christ and you are a child of God, everything that you do ought not to be for yourself. If you are a child of God and you are seeking power for yourself, you are not worthy of power. Power comes to those that are worthy. Amen. You make yourself worthy when you are not concerned of yourself, but you are concerned for others. Come on, somebody. Amen, somebody. That's a difference. Come on, somebody. Amen, somebody. You see, the ambition of the kingdom of God is about the lives of others. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. And the, the of the world, everything that you do is for yourself. And the moment you are born and you begin to educate yourself, it is for yourself. You get an education for yourself. You find a job for yourself. You work hard for yourself. Come on, somebody. So when you come to Jesus, come on, somebody. And you are not saved. Amen, somebody. And you want God to use you. It is not about yourself. You only deserve power when you are no longer concerned about yourself. In the world, you gain power because you are concerned about yourself. In the kingdom of God, you must deny yourself. And, if, and you wonder why you're not blessed or healed or delivered or set free or your miracle has not come because you are still thinking about yourself. You have not denied yourself. Amen, amen. Any man must follow me. If any man must follow me, I want that man. He must deny himself. Pick up. His cross, the cross that God has given to bear, and follow me. Come on, somebody. After you are capable of denying oneself, carrying one's cross, come on, somebody, faithfully, loyally, without complaining and murmuring. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Then you can enter into his rest. He said, then I will make your burdens easy. And your weight shall become light. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Amen. That's why the common mind cannot serve God. It is an enemy of God. Many of us, we are seeking God, amen somebody, to be justified, but we are found in sin. Because our mind is warring against the things of God. Amen, amen. Amen, amen somebody. Amen. As Galatians chapter 2, is why I seek to be justified. I myself am found in sin as Christ, the minister of sin. God forbid. Amen, somebody. Am I speaking to somebody? Amen, Amen somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Give God some praise. 
Don't say, you say, I am. I am. You see this, I am. I am. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. I am. Spoke to Moses. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Am I speaking to somebody? He said, who shall I say send me? He said, go and tell them I am. That I am. I'll send you. Yeah. I am the true vine. And my father is the Pastor man. My father is the So in this season, Jesus was writing this verse. It was a festival, a celebration of the Jews. And he was now speaking a parable unto them. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Because even, you were, even though they were keeping the celebration and the symbols of physically, their inward, their inner man was lost and astray, man, somebody. Amen. And they were keeping the festival called TV Shabbat. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Which is a celebration of the creator, of the one who brings the harvest. The one who, amen, somebody, who caused the earth to birth. Come on, somebody. The one who has given the earth life, the world of creation. Come on, somebody. Amen, somebody. Has everyone, has everyone, you ever asked where the seed came from? You know about the plant, you know about the fruits. But where did the seed come from? Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. And he said, it is God who have caused the earth to give birth unto the seed. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. He said, as the rain cometh down, as the snow falleth, that the earth might give birth. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. That the sower will have seed and the eater will have Bread. He said, so is my word. Amen, somebody. It shall not return. Do the neighbor say, it shall not return unto him. Boy, so whatever you have spoken unto you, it is not vain, it will accomplish. Somebody say, it shall accomplish what it was sent to do in my life. Come on, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen. God doesn't speak the words. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isaiah 61 spoke about the plantation of God. And unto the plantation of God, he said, God will appoint unto all those that are mourning in the holy place. Amen. Those that are mourning in Zion, he will appoint unto them. Amen. 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 He shall appoint unto them what? Beauty for their ashes. Amen, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. Beauty for their ashes. ashes. Amen, somebody. Amen. Somebody say ashes. Is that which have been burnt by fire. Come on, your life has been burned by fire, but not God's fire. It has been burned by hell's fire. It has been burned by the enemy. Many of us, our heart, our mind, our soul, you have been burned. Come on, somebody. By many people in your life, I'm a child coming up, and you are still living in the past. Your mind is still there. Your heart is still there. Amen, somebody. So your attitude and your behavior is still there. By saying, Jesus, 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 I got him on my mind. Amen, somebody. Amen. And he said, I point to them that mourn in Zion, beauty for their ashes. Come on, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. The oil of what? Amen, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. The oil of what? Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. Tell the neighbor, say, I want new joy, joy. in the season. And the I want the oil of gladness. Oil of gladness. I want, amen, somebody, the oh. joy of the Lord that shall be my strength. Yes, Lord. Come on, somebody. Yeah. He said to put on the garment. Somebody say garment. Amen. 
Come on, somebody. Many of you have put on your course to come to church tonight. Come here. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen, somebody. And you put on the first thing that was available to you. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen. When you go, as I said, to the clubs and the parties, you amen, somebody. You look for the shortest thing. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 God saying, now who put on the garment? This garment is something that is not physically that you put on. It is a mindset, an attitude, amen, somebody. It is not just a song. You can sing the songs and understand that the true praise is in your life. It's in your mentality. It's in your reaction to people. It's in the amen, somebody. Your reaction to your enemy. Your reaction to your situation. Come on, somebody. Amen, somebody. Am I speaking to somebody tonight? It's when the enemy comes in as a flood and you're able to look at that flood and say the spirit of God will raise a standard. You're able to speak to the devil and say devil today you're not going to spoil my peace you're not going to steal my joy my God will fight for me my God will make a way for me yes I am hurt, yes I am grief but I'm not going to give you the pleasure and the satisfaction even somebody but I'm a I'm going to praise God. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 You see that Jesus healing the man that was born blind. And when his eyes begin to open, he had never seen a color. He was born that way. He had never seen a tree. Come on. But he prophesied and said, I see men as trees walking on the earth through and through. Amen. Amen, Amen. It was in this season, Amen. this celebration, this festival, Jesus spoke this unto his disciples and to all those who have ears to hear. But the Spirit of God is saying, He said, I am the true man, and my Father. Is the husbandman every branch? Amen, somebody. Let's break down the verses. I am the true vine. Who's the true vine? Jesus. And my father is. He's in charge of the vineyard. He's in charge of the garden. He's in charge. Amen, somebody. Of whom the son gives life to. Amen, someone. He is in charge who you will appoint, who you will bless, who you will lift up, who you will heal, who you will open doors to. He is in charge. The husband, the father, is in charge. Amen, someone. Amen, someone. Amen. And every branch, the branch there, amen, somebody. Tell me the branch. The branch. Is you and I. To the branch. the branch. Amen, somebody. Amen is you and I that are here tonight. That is the branches. And the branches stem from. Amen, somebody. Where they come from? The vine. Who's in charge of the vine? The Father. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. And he said, every branch, somebody say, every branch in me that bears not fruit, he take it away. He take it away. The branch which is us, must bring forth fruit. And if it does not bring forth fruit, the Father who is in He said he will take away that branch. Because a branch that does not bring forth fruit is an unhealthy branch. It's a branch that is withering. It's a branch that is dying. It's a branch that stopped being connected to the true vine. Once upon a time, it was connected to the vine. It was there that I grew. Come on, somebody. But something happened. And it began to disconnect from the true vine. What 
happened to you? Come on, somebody. Tell your neighbor, said, what happened to you? Galatians 3, oh foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you? You begun in the spirit, and you are now made perfected in the flesh. Come on, somebody. To be bewitched is to be in prison. Come on, somebody. You can be a prisoner of your emotions, a prisoner of your mindset, a prisoner of your ways, of your behavior, of your attitude. Amen, somebody. You can be a prisoner of lust, of desires, of dreams. You can be a prisoner of Satan. Come on, somebody. And he said, You have become bewitched. You've become in the spirit. You began walking for God. You got baptized. You got delivered. You got you got healed, you got rescued, you got an encounter, you got an experience. But someday, the devil of sin in your life and bewitch you. <laughs> oh, foolish Galatians, who have bewitched you? Amen, Sama. Does he that walk in miracles and signs and wonders amongst you, did he do it by the works of the Lord? Is it by your works or by the hearing of faith? Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Am I speaking to somebody tonight? Amen. Am I speaking to somebody tonight? Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. You are words connected to the divine that something happened and it disconnected you. It's what? It's disconnected. And so your, your life begins to dry up. Your spiritual walk will God start to dry up. And you know it. You know when your spiritual man starts to dry up. Come on, someone. You can fight. And roll and, and ball and, and scream and try to give me a shot, a shot, a shot, a shot. You know, in your spirit, that man's at the dryer. You just know when your walk is not with God. You just know when you're not doing the things that you ought to do. Amen, somebody. Let's speak it to somebody tonight. Amen. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purges. He cleanses. Come on, somebody. How will you cleanse? Amen, somebody. By you cleanse, and it may bring forth more fruit. God cleanses you to bring forth more fruit. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. He cleanses you to bring forth more fruit. Come on, somebody. Amen. But he said, if you're not bringing forth to the Father, he was going to cut you off from the vine. Amen. 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 It's we today, as I said before, this is why the church has lost the power of God. Amen, somebody. And the those that God has given power, God can use them. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Because their heart is not open to receive power. Amen, Amen somebody. Am I speaking to somebody? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. He said that in, now, verse 63, you and I, you, we, now you are made clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. How are you made clean? Through the word. Through the word. The word of God. Amen. Do not think because, amen, somebody, Jesus told them, Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. Jesus told them, he said, do not think because you are Abraham's children that you're going to enter into the kingdom. Amen. Do not think because you are Jews. Do not think today because we say that we are Christians. We, we say that we are church goers. Amen, somebody. Or we know that we are, amen, you know, an anointed man. Amen, somebody. Do not think that you're going to enter into the kingdom. God is going to always save you. Amen. God has warned us. He said, let us care. Let the gospel. Amen, somebody. Let us care. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. 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 Let us care. Amen, somebody.
somebody. Amen. 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 That we do not enter into his rest. For the gospel was preached unto them. And it was preached unto us. But it did profit them nothing in them that heard it. Because it was not mixed with faith, with action, with demonstration. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Hebrews chapter 2, he says, how can we escape if we neglect to break that salvation? I don't know if people are waiting for the heavens to open up and for Jesus to come down. But at that time, it's going to be too late. I don't know if you're waiting for a right to appear or an angel to come or an amen, somebody. Or for the loss and poor or a heart. But to make it in 2019 and 2020 and 2021 and 2022, it was too late. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thanks. Said so, that uh, you and I have only made clean to the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me. Say abide in me. And I. In you, in you, as the branch, as branch. which is us, yes. cannot be a fruit of itself. Yes. Amen, somebody. Yes. Our life cannot be fruitful yes. in our own self. Yes. God has given unto us several abilities for us to prosper, for us to be used by Him, for us to grow. Come on, somebody, yes. and our life cannot be fruitful in itself. It can only be fruitful when it abides in the vine. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. No more can he except he abide in me. I am the vine. You are the branches. He that abided in me and I in him, the same bring forth much fruit. Amen. For without me, you can do nothing. We cannot accomplish anything without God. Come on, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. Mm. Brings a serious question to our lives now. Come on, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. God is saying, you cannot do anything without me. That's right. So if He is not in it, and He failed in your life, even the moment you came to Christ, was not ordained by God. Yeah. Somebody get quiet now. Amen. Because I can do nothing without him. Surely God will not bring me to failure. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Yes, my failures can be a testimony and experience for others. Amen, somebody. Amen, Amen. somebody. But your facts still remain. Amen, somebody. And God said, without me, you can do nothing. Amen, Amen somebody. And if a man, a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch that is withered. And men gather them and cast them in the fire, and they are burned. That's why I told you before. The devil is coming home on his head. He will use people to gather you and to throw you into the fire to be burnt. An accident happened on the street is, is happened by some person. Somebody is murdered is by some person. Somebody who wish for against is by some person. And somebody who hurt you is by some person. He said, men gathers you. You are gathered by men and thrown away in the fire. To be burned. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. <clears throat> if he abide in me and my words abide in you, he shall ask what he will. It means if I if I am obedient to his will. Come on. I'm, amen, somebody. 
I, I can be a good church go, I can be religious and not be obedient to the will of God. I can refuse to accept God's will. I can refuse to seek God's opinion and God's direction for my life. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, he shall ask what he will. So the reason why you are asking and, and you receive not and you are praying and you have not is because you're not a, the word of life is not abiding in us. Being born again is not a terminology. It's not a saying something. It's being transformed. It's putting on the nature of God and taking off the nature of man. Amen. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Can you believe us at being born again? It's taking off. The nature of man that is after the image of the devil. Amen, Sakma. Amen. Amen. When I am born again, I am now putting on the nature of God. Jesus told them the words I speak to you, they are what? So I am not putting on the spirit of God, the life of God. Amen. Otherwise, all I have is religion. Otherwise, tonight all we have here is a religious gathering without the Holy Spirit being present. Amen. Not a Holy Spirit being present at the night. There can be miracles or healings or blessings or deliverance. All we have is a next religious gathering, a next day church. Come on, somebody. Amen, somebody. Am I speaking to somebody? The Bible said we are always learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Amen, somebody. Am I speaking to somebody? Amen, somebody. He said, I bear and recall that they have just the form of godliness. We sound godly, we look godly, we act godly. And we deny the true power thereof. He said, from such, turn away. Because what we need is power to change, power to conquer, power to deliver, power to see revival, power to bring the youth out of the streets, power to deliver in and someone. And it can only happen when the world begins to abide. In us. Amen. Amen, Amen. And my words abide in you, man. And he said, and your words abide in me. You can ask whatsoever you will. And it said, then it shall be done. Amen, Amen. Amen, Amen. Amen Again, trees. Fruits speaking about a harvest. And we cannot bring forth a harvest or be the harvest unless we abide in the vine. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Come on. Amen. Do not partake in the wrath and the judgment that is to come. Amen. Amen. I was just looking at the news today, America's death by COVID has gone to 40, 44%. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 Nationwide, they have about 60,000 cases per day. In a vaccinated nation. Amen, somebody. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. That's within a few days. Amen. Amen. In this year, do not pray with your salvation. Do not pray with your life. Do not pray with your commitment to God. Mm. Do not pray with your walk with God. Mm. It's either you receive a harvest. 
or you die of hunger, spiritual hunger. Not be covered or covenanted by God. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 Those that have brought their fruits, you can take them home tonight. You wasn't able to make it. Those fruits symbolize your fruitfulness. Being fruitful, being fruitful. Being fruitful. We are fasting from this Monday, seven days of fasting of praying, seven, the number of completion, the number of perfection, completion. It's a symbol of your life. You are here with a prophetic declaration over your life. That you're going to be fruitful in 2023. Say with me tonight. Say in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I brought my fruit in this celebration. And I am declaring by the word of God and by the promise of God that my life is going to be fruitful. And whatever I have to change, whatever I have to come out of me, whatever God has to do in this season to make me fruitful, I am the king in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That's the faith that you're coming with here tonight. It is that faith. It is that faith that will send the anointing over your life to be fruitful. But you've got to abide in the time. Amen, somebody. You've got to do what? Now I'm going to make a call of repentance. Those that want to rededicate your life, those that want to surrender to Jesus tonight, come forward to pray. If you have not walked the way that you ought to walk in 2022 20, and 2023, 20, amen, you want to walk the way God wants you to walk. You want to live the life God wants you to live. You want to please Him. You want to rededicate your life unto Him. You want a new strength that you may serve Him. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You want your harvest. You want what God has promised. We cannot do it unless we abide in the fire. You must abide in the fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. You look at the end, you pick up and you say, Lord Jesus, I come to you tonight. I come to you tonight. A sinner. I need your strength. I need your grace. I come to surrender to you. I acknowledge you as the Son of God. Lord Jesus, wash me through your precious blood. 
Let me be born again tonight of your spirit and of your word. Let your anointing break every yoke in my life. Give me the strength by the Holy Spirit that will now live in me to my faith to live a Christ-like life before you in Jesus' mighty. I come tonight to receive the anointing of a child of God unto your honor and glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I'm about to lay my hands upon them, Father, and to stow the gifts and the appearance that is within them. And every yoke and power of Satan shall be broken and destroyed over your life. And who the Son of God has set free is being made in this atmosphere. Be
of Jesus Christ. Keep praying, keep praying. Come on, come on, come on. Rando le bebe su gubra se brede, brede me sa brando, rai se kita la ba, roba yinto, robe debu le basa, alte chinas se, please bed, alte chinas se, alte chinas se, come on. Yeah. 
facing. The battles you've been facing. The witches that have been against you. God is going to mash them up. God is going to mash them up. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hey, he care about you. Hey, yeah, breakthrough. Hey, yeah, testimony. Hey, yeah, healing. Hey, yeah. I've even overcome. I've conquered. I've been strong in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord. Hey, my mama, my mama, my sister, my cousin, my cousin. The secret. We declare you your fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. She fell into the tree and tree body and came out of the feet. Amen. Give God some praise. So, God has signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. Signs and what? Wonders. 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 If anybody else have an experience with the night, you can come and share what God has done. You can come quickly. You can come quickly and say what you felt, what happened to you. God will confirm his word by signs and by wonders and by what? Miracles. When you feel that shy and afraid, tell the people, come and meet me after and tell my friends. I feel like that the people need to hear that their faith may come up, that they might believe, that they will know it and somebody. In the mighty name of Jesus, be free, be free yes, and be free. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now, you faithfully attend services or you try. But coming to church alone will not make you free. It will make you free. If, if you are free and you will back to a bound of husband. Amen. Amen. Yes, the scripture says that the, the, the sanctified wife the sanctified the husband. But if the husband is possessed by human spirits and eating things that offer up to idols, you know what I'm talking about? He eat things, he eat things in the of the idols. When you come together now, you receive that same thing. When it's not so, the curse, financially, spiritually, can help us with me. When you come in the house of God, you will have to be constantly happy in the world. That's the seal of you. So you want to pray for wisdom for God and give you a solution for your personal life. And the word of God answer it. Oh, yes. And I have our strength. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Let me give us some first thing I think. Now, this is how we can sacrifice. I know many of you are comfortable coming out and selling brand new. Come here, somebody. We can't have the whole church can't gather at two, three, seven, and gather at two places at the same time. It's a weaker sacrifice. One week of prayer. Amen. Two weeks of prayer. Amen. It's a weaker sacrifice. One week of prayer. Fasting, deliverance, word. To, to set, you are setting the pace for this year in your life. You are setting your priorities and your standards for God to work in your life this week. Amen, somebody, for the rest of the year. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 Come out. Amen, somebody. Amen. Fast. Pray together. As the body of Christ. Amen, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. And this street of four nights, try to make it down here. Amen, somebody. Amen, amen somebody. Amen. On the Monday, amen, somebody, to receive the anointing. Amen, somebody. Amen. For fasting. It means you are now setting yourself apart. Saying, God, I am entering this covenant with you. Amen. In fasting and praying. Amen. For the promises and the words and all that you have spoken over my life, I am entering into it. I am entering into the spiritual contract. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. And fasting and praying and in word, believing that my faith will grow, that my spiritual life will grow, that my blessing, my breakthrough is going to come. Amen, somebody. And I am making the sacrifice for the seven days unto you, Lord. Amen. 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 Arrange something. Do something. Let's be there for those seven days. Amen, somebody. Amen. As a matter of fact, the last day, which is the Sunday. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. What we call, amen, somebody. Amen. amen. We're going to call that Saturday, amen, somebody, the sealing of the anointing. Amen. That's where you will take the anointed oil. And put it over your windows, your doors, amen, with your family in your house and seal it with the blood of Jesus Christ. The Bible says we are sealed with the Holy Spirit. Amen, somebody. Sealing your family, your home on the seventh day. Your home praying with your family. Use your faith, grow. Amen, somebody. You hold the word tonight. You will be a branch that the Father will cut off and bear fruit. Bring forth the choice is yours to, to be fruitful or not. 
to give your all or not. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. So we're going to pick up tonight's tithes and offering, and we will just listen and we'll pray. Amen. Amen. So grand services will begin again after the fast. Amen. Amen. Praise him.